this spring we decided to pick ourselves up a little travel trailer sort of got it in March we used it a couple of times during the summer and everything's working great on it and then uh, just noticed down here a couple of the bolts holding on the canopy were coming a bit loose so I figured oh you know maybe I just need to tighten up those nuts inside there so the only way I did it, there's no access from inside the trailer because it's below the floor as I come inside to the back of the trailer here I have determined from ripping up the vapor barrier or the underbelly uh, plastic inside here there's quite a bit of rot actually it looks like the water in my guess probably traveled down the corner of the trailer and then hit because most of the rot seems to be sort of in this corner area here and I figured that since I'm ripping up the floor here I'm going to replace it with a, a better product and better uh, you know sort of preparation on this that I might as well look and see what's uh, looking inside the bathroom as well at the back and it's uh, just as bad well not as bad it doesn't extend as far in this corner but uh, I've taken the tub out I've taken the toilet out and uh, we're going to replace all this flooring so my plan is to go back as far as I can on this end of the trailer and then replace the flooring and this always surprises me so here's the way these things go together my assumption is over the frame which is nicely painted and and uh, that's not going to rust last quite a while they lay down a sheet of uh, heavy plastic which acts as sort of a vapor barrier on the underbelly of the trailer and then the frame goes down on top of that and for the flooring they are just using uh, strand board which in my opinion is really not uh, the thing to be using in here um, and then over top of the strand board the whole thing looks to be floored because the walls and all of the uh, appliances and all that seem to be on top of the floor itself now the, the the nice thing about it and the lucky thing is is that the vinyl flooring is actually protected the uh, vertical structure so none of the two by two walls vertical structure where they're sitting on the floor actually have any water damage at all which is a good sign in the sense that we now know that the water is not traveling you know sort of down the wall from the ceiling because there's no water at all on the base of the wall so my plan here is to replace all of the two by fours and the floor with better product what I'm going to do is I am going to cut all my pieces and then I am going to coat all of the lumber in two coats of epoxy so being that I'm in the business of boat building, I know how to keep water out of wood. I'm going to coat it in two coats of epoxy. Then I'm going to paint all of those with two coats of some marine uh, paint that I have just left over my other projects. Who cares? Nobody's going to see it. And then I'm going to lay down marine plywood, which in itself will be coated in two coats of epoxy and two coats of a paint, all using stainless steel screws to hold it together. This back end of the trailer will never rot again. So just as suspected, yes, the water was running down the corner here to the bottom and rotting out the bottom framing. So to fix that, I needed to remove back aluminum siding to access the corners. So now we're going to repair that. So I had cut all of the framing pieces. I coated them all in epoxy, including the plywood. Um, now I'm just uh, scuff sanding them. I'm going to put a coat of paint on. I'm going to paint all the pieces first, then I'm going to install them and probably put another coat of paint on, the, on all of these pieces when they're in the trailer before new flooring goes down. So as you can see, I've just used some old paint left over from other projects. Nice bright blue. Uh, no one's going to see it anyways, but it's definitely going to waterproof this wood. So I've got marine ply, coat of epoxy, very thick coat of epoxy on there, scuff sanded and painted. Now I'll do the other side and then they'll be ready to install. I'm just waiting on the underbelly plastic to arrive. It's a special plastic with special tape to waterproof the underside of the uh, of the frame. So I, I can't really put anything in the trailer right now until that plastic because it lays on top of the uh, metal frame and then the wood will uh, rest on the metal frame with the plastic in between. I've numbered them 
all in a sequence of how they're going to go back in the trailer so I can't really paint over the one side because that's where my number is and I would have I mean I can figure it out but it's a lot easier to know exactly where each piece is supposed to go I'm not too concerned with uh, how well this goes on here it really is just to seal up the wood so I'm just slopping it on with a cheap brush it's already got the epoxy on there so with a coat of marine paint this should never get wet as long as I own that trailer So now I'm just installing the framing in and doubling up sort of well we call them well they're not quite what we'd call sisters in boat building but uh, just a butt ending and then putting what we would call a butt block on the ends here to hold them together. Prior to putting the new plywood in the flooring of the trailer this time I've inserted styrofoam insulation two inches thick and uh, you know it's not going to hold water if water gets in. Prior to sliding the uh, three-quarter inch marine ply through the back into the trailer I actually need to jack this up I suppose over the years rotting wood this back corner of the trailer is actually dropped down by at least a half an inch but I can jack it up and uh, slide the plywood in I've done a dry run now that I've got the insulation in I'm ready to go and with the corner of the trailer jacked up high enough I'm able to slide in my three-quarter inch piece of marine ply now you know it's binding on a few things here and here it's sweeping on the styrofoam but I will be and I am able to get it in and now that the wall framing is resting or will come down and will rest on the plywood now a little bit of creaking there and we're on.